Matrix cars splash through fairy lights. Majestic silhouettes levitate around the crisp white marquee. Star on the landscape. I open the desk of that. Cool breeze fresh cuts through heavy air. A flurry of garish tables, cloaked with crushed velvet, acid yellow. Hannibal Lecter masks splashed with gold present opulent bottles to offer a rowia browser and pungent shape. Rainbow belly dancers judder jingling belts on the catwalk stage. Putrid orange chiffon for the backdrop, shocking pink shades long the phone compartment. The singer croons her duet with the absent baritone, straining through block speakers loud. While Filipino girls support salvers the size of trucker wheels, piled high with rice and lamb parkers. Cleavage, Diana gowns, diamantes, their estrogen is intoxicating. The women shrug off the buyers, wrap shavers around their hips, and mount the stage to shake their asses. Music thrusts, lights pound the tubby catwalk girls. An indigo dancer seductively descends the runway stairs, and with a stone of silvery kind, she lap dances for the masked women who look beyond in disgust. Filipino girls grapple. Uh, Filipino girls grapple with giant coffee pots to offer shots of bitter coffee and thimble cups and sweet stuff to a mass of sanity so the raucous kids can take their pick. Then, the music stops. The women stop picking the bones for meat. The belly dancers dismount the stage and hush into the dream. The bride, fat and fragile, squashed into a princess dress, too long to walk in, face of a painted blue, pinholed in two men facials. Sawdust gems sparkle under the hot lamps and flashes from the solitary camera lens handheld by a Filipino maid. The crowd cheer and elevate to welcome the bride to her crimson throne, where she will receive the groom. Sisters swoon and gather, each one is equally immaculate. The eldest sports a white dress and a, a henna map stained from her shoulders to the ends polished burning fingertips. Eyes like glazed enamel she flips, accepting compliments on behalf of the system. Then the women return to black shoes for his grand entrance. I sit in her handmade dress, now sweaty from the quick shimmy and the city outside. My body sparks in hypnotic insects flooded through its plush violence. And with flesh exposed, I am left uncovered to gaze upon the petrified bride. I look at a Filipino waitress who snatches my head to the And the glint from her hand-me-down diamante ring seems a splinter. 